The government says science, technology, engineering and mathematics are crucial for African economies as they make the jump from primary to secondary industries. It's now making sure it has the right resources to make that transition. We have realized there is that gap in terms of uh, the science and technology related skills. The education system, the A-level, has been producing a, an average of 2,000 uh, science students. So we are looking at increasing it uh, for this year to 2018 to at least 3,500 then we actually continue to increase gradually as we go forward. About $4 million from a manpower development fund which collects a 1% levy on all company wage bills will be directed to the program. It's been hailed as a step in the right direction. If you look at uh, the areas of scientific inno innovation locally, uh, patented technologies or even original solutions, you find that there is very little activity is compared to other countries such as uh, China, America and so on. So this is a good start uh, to get students interested in early age in that area. Muned Zimwe uh, has experienced firsthand the dearth in the number of science students despite bright career prospects. I myself did an honors in, in, in mathematics and you'd find that uh, we were told that uh, ours was the largest class in a long time, yet it had uh, seven people that they use it. So usually the numbers were two, three, four, but then you find that those people later left and went on to be uh, actuarial scientists, uh, to join the financial sectors, to join the insurance sectors. The government says this program is not relegating art subjects, but rather attempting to fill a void while bringing the number of students enrolling for both disciplines at par. Farai Makutuya, CCTV, Harare, Zimbabwe.